dear. Freeway lift services. Would someone please give him a lift? Ha ha ha! Well, Tally Bally, hi everybody! Ha ha! So, it's a Friday morning, and I believe I heard on the radio that there was a broken down lorry, and this is what happens to an ordinary uh, provincial dual carriageway when one lorry breaks down. It uh, gets like this. This is not normally like this at all. It's the A41 from Aylesbury down to the M25. Hello. Uh, right, I'm on my bike because I am going to the dealer because I'm getting another warranty claim. Yeah, so this is the second warranty claim. The first one was for one of my Vance and Hines slip-on exhaust pipes. Um, it went a very sort of motley colour. I think I've got a photograph of here or there and I shall put it up here. Uh, yes, it, it sort of blemishes really and uh, apparently that was a warranty claim. The other side hadn't done it at all and interestingly enough it wasn't the side that the chain was on. So it wasn't getting corroded by oil or tar or whatever, it was just there, you know. But anyway, so that's been replaced but the main thing, the main thing is that the clocks, the speedo and the uh, tack plus all the digital displays. But basically they've got condensation in and uh, when the sun was on it, it's a bit cold today, it's 8 degrees currently, um, with the sun on it, it warmed it up and uh, couldn't see buggery bollocks. Uh, I got a photo here. I uh, couldn't see the, the LCD displays, you see, because um, they go because uh, the condensation was in the lower half, you see. So um, all the important shit I couldn't see. So. Uh, Triumph, very kindly, changing it on warranty. Should be about a 45 minute job just to change the clocks over because I don't have the race fairing on the front. It uh, should be quite an easy job. Now, I'm not sure I'll be able to reprogram the mileage. So I'm going from, what have we got? 3,700 miles to zero. <laughs> That'll be good for when I resell it. <laughs> it certainly helps with the, um, with the PCP deal because I've already done too many miles this year. <laughs> So uh, if anyone ever asks, that's as much mileage. I started at zero, yeah. <laughs> so I didn't get new gauges or clocks <laughs> under warranty. No, Your Honour, no, not at all. <laughs> so anyway, yes, that is, what, uh, that is what I'm doing. I'm getting the clocks changed over. I've had it, what, uh, since May? Five months, five months. I, well, you know how much I love the bike. A couple of warranty claims on the Vansenheim slip-on and the gauges. Uh, a couple of things you wouldn't really expect, but uh, then again, because uh, I was t uh, the uh, dealer chap said, well, you shouldn't use a, a jet wash to wash your bike. And I said, well, I don't, I don't. I may go through some rain from time to time, but I try not to as much as possible. <laughs> so uh, yeah, we shall see. So it was just a genuine condensation in both clocks. Uh, it's one whole unit, you see. It's not like the old clocks that were two separate units. So, um, yeah, couldn't do much about it. Yeah, never mind. Well, that was quite a lot of traffic for just one van that's broken down. I suppose it's because they had to close the lane. But anyway, safety and all that. Safety for the person, for the van driver. Ah, oh, dear. Freeway lift services. Would someone please give him a lift? Ha, ha, ha. Cheap, cheap, sorry. That was a cheap, cheap gag. Uh, so yeah, off to the dealer to change these gauges, these lovely, mmm, gorgeous brush, mmm, lovely gauges. Uh, I think they changed the whole bloody unit. Um, it's meant to be fully sealed, obviously it wasn't. Uh, I don't know if anyone else has had similar problems. That's something I need to sort out. Uh, I'm getting two uh, black Patso brake, le brake lever and clutch lever, getting two, more, two new black levers with gold adjusters to hopefully go with the gold Olin's fort. And uh, yeah, that's about it really. So, living with the thruster, well, um, it's comfortable. Uh, I haven't yet done 13 or 14 hours like I did on my old thruster. Um, but it's a lot more comfortable than the old thruster. It's not as extreme a position as you think. These high, fairly high risers from the clip-ons certainly keep you uh, in a more comfortable position. Yet, you can go right down if you really want to. Oh yes, ha ha ha! Um, yes, it's always fun when you can go down. Anyway. Um, sorry, a bit early in the morning for that sort of caper. I wash it, I clean it, I lube the chain every couple of hundred miles, which for me is pretty much every second ride. I use Worth dry lube. I find there's absolutely zero fling, and it works a treat. The only thing you have to remember is as soon as it rains, 
means you've got to use it anyway. You've got to spray it on the chain anyway when the chain is warm. Say three or four minutes after you've stopped, put it on a paddock stand and off you go. It's just a matter of keeping it regular. And uh, the fact there's no fling and it's very clean and tidy is fantastic stuff, fantastic stuff. The spokes, well, they're a bit of a pain to try and clean. But uh, as long as you can prop up the front and the back, spinning it around it takes you know, about 5-10 minutes each wheel with either GT85 or WD40. So far no corrosion, but it hasn't gone through a winter yet. I love it. I still absolutely love it. I might get some different mirrors so that they don't stick out quite too far. Uh, it's, it's not too bad. It's not, a, it's, not, uh, it's not too wide for filtering, but I think just for looks, I might get those CRG um, little folding round ones that clip on the very end. And I might tap them underneath or above or, or whatever. So mostly it's farkles. I've added lots of things. I've added the leather tank strap. I've added the um, embellishers to the clutch engine case, to the alternator engine case, and also to the throttle bodies. Um, just to give it a bit more difference. Oh, fuck off. Bloody Citroen up my bottom. How much faster does he want to go? It's a Citroen. It'll fall apart. <laughs> I absolutely adore this bike, it's perfect. I do lots of commuting on it, I do lots of scratching on it, I do lots of um, just pootling about on it. The sport mode is fantastic, the road mode feels like something's wrong with your throttle because you get so used to sport mode. Uh, and the rain mode, well it works well in the rain. Uh, rain mode does uh, full traction control, ABS, um, really does mute the throttle down to no snatchiness whatsoever, but it feels like about sort of half throttle. Uh, you have to twist it much further to get anything out. But I suppose that's the whole point, isn't it? That's the whole point. Next thing, uh, whilst I'm waiting for this to be done, I'm going to ask if I can borrow the standard Thruxton model. Let's see if we can make some comparisons. Hey, comparisons! Huzzah! Uh, obvious ones. There, there, are, there are quite a few obvious visual differences. Uh, but handling, well, I've got the special suspension. The standard hasn't. So we shall just see what happens, shall we? Okay! Tally bally ho, pip pip toodaloo. Let's have some fun. Woohoo! Okay. Standard obligatory engine noise, exhaust noise. This is standard, remember? Nice and throaty! Arr! 